What's going on everyone? Ishin from Caesar Media here. Today is just another vlog on the truck and I'm wearing a nose face jacket right now because it's freezing here in Michigan. It's uh, just mid-November. It's already cold. Here's the what the FDRX7 looks like right now. I'm starting to get into the uh, oil pump and timing chain area, but that's to come in my different build series, brand new coilovers. But anyways, today I'm gonna talk about my truck here. So for the truck, um, I didn't wanna go too crazy with the tire diameter. A lot of people lift the truck and fit the 35 inch tires on there, but to me, I don't really care about lifting it to the, to the sky. To be honest, it looks ugly, it's not functional, and when people do like blocks in the suspension, I think it's the most pointless, stupidest thing you can do to a truck. So what I decided on was go with maybe a minor lift, maybe like an inch, half an inch, but don't do anything crazy. And right now, I decided to put on a 34 inch tires because 35 inch, to be honest, is just a little too excessive for my taste and I wanna go with like more of a Baja type um, setup. So what I went with was a 285 75 17. Now it's rolling out on its own. These are the Yokohama Geolander old train tires. Now, for all train tires, it's not too aggressive looking, but you can definitely see from the side that it's got the uh, treads so that you can go rock rolling and whatnot if you want to. This is actually brand new Geolando tire that just literally came out there. Uh, this is a version 2 and I read good reviews on it. So today I'm going to be installing this. So 285, 75, 17 is essentially a 34 inch tire 30 as opposed to 35 inch tires so there isn't that much difference between 35 and 34 but we shall see how this looks like on the truck and because it was right here that's how big the tire is compared to the evo <laughs> ridiculous so it's gonna go on the truck and see how that looks and i say i'm gonna see how it looks because the tires, the rims I just got is negative 12 millimeter offset and the rims on the truck right now is 20 inch in diameter but plus 22 millimeters in offset. So I'm gonna be gaining about 30 millimeter offset but even with that much offset I feel like I might need a spacer uh, maybe inch or two. So that's the reason why I'm saying I'm gonna see what it looks like after it's fitted. So let's get to work. So with the wheels, I also got brand new lug nuts, which is nice, and uh, wheel caps, wheel hub caps. And I realized that American Racing makes products in China because these are all made in China, which is kind of funny. They brand their products American and they make it in China. Good job, American Racing. Okay guys, I put the front wheel on and look how much better the truck looks already. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, black rims for the wind. Now, I'm just testing out to see how much spacer I need to install. Right now, it's looking like it's sitting pretty flush to the uh, fender liner here. So I'm pretty happy with the result, but for the rear, I know I'm gonna need some spacers because it is way too tucked in and uh, it's gonna look ugly if it's positive offset like it is here right now. Even for the front with negative 12 millimeter offset, it's looking pretty flush. I'm happy with it. Even if I don't put spacers up front, I'm happy with the results. So I'm gonna put the uh, rim on the rear as well and see what it looks like. So, you know, here's what I'm doing to measure how long of a spacer I should get. Just putting on the tape measure against the tire here, looking at it from the side. It looks like two inch spacer would give it a poke and one inch would be 
very flush. So I'll probably go with one inch space to the front, maybe 1.5, but probably not two inch, that'll be too much. Well, a little disaster just happened. So all these lug nuts were super tight in there and I was using a breaker bar to remove it and one of them has a key in it and the key broke inside the lug nut. Now I'm screwed. Uh, I have no idea how to get this out so uh, you guys have any idea how to remove it? Let me know. And I saw walking on the evil was pain in the ass. So that's it for now. Uh, I think I'm gonna do some calculations and measure what kind of spacers I want But for now, I can't do anything. I can't get the wheel off the truck So I'm gonna do some research online and see how I can get the key lug nut out with the key in the lug nut itself Oh, pain in the ass <laughs>